Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. It's Wednesday. I've gotten better, so this this will be a five day vlog, not a four day vlog this week, which is good. Um, I I did read Monday and Tuesday. I just couldn't be bothered updating you what I read. Um, so I have started The Unbroken by C. L. Clark. Um, I have read. How many pages have I read? 181 so I actually split the book into five sections um, just so I can get it finished on Friday if I pushed it I could probably finish it Thursday um, tomorrow well I could have done because like last night I read my 88 pages I need to read and it was still like only half nine I was like oh I could still I could read more and I thought no because when I push myself to read more I kind of push myself too much and then I don't want to read if that makes sense um so I'm sticking to my sections just so I can get through it I'm in no rush this month after this book there's only one more book no two more books to read sorry I'm good um so the unbroken what's it about so you follow two characters Terrain who is a soldier in the army who was taken from her homeland as a child and is now back in the homeland and due to circumstances um gets recruited to be the assistant for the princess who should be queen but is actually princess and is used to be a spy for the rebels who are trying to get rid of the princess's empire in this land you also follow the princess who due to the age when her parents died her uncle is sitting on the throne as a regent but is not wanting to give that up um she is actually wanting to spy on the rebels to try and get rid of the distrust to try and make it good for everyone and that is the story we follow yeah that's the story we follow like i said i am 181 pages through it what do i think so far I'm enjoying it. Once everything was kind of set up within the first 100 pages, I've enjoyed it more. Um, I did only read 50 pages on Monday. I did catch up yesterday and read my daily allowance and a little bit more. Now I know who each character is, what side they seem to be on and what they kind of want. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I... I don't want to rate it at the moment, but if I had to rate it, I would give it three and a half stars. Um, just because I want to know, we do know a bit more about the political side, but I want to know more about Terrain's connection to the Rebels, because there is a connection being banded about, but there doesn't seem to be any movement on that connection, I want to know more. Um, also, this thing with Terrain and Luca, who is the princess, oh gosh that came out of nowhere that i i don't like it and if that is i think it is going to be a sapphic romance i i don't like it at the moment that may change but at the moment it's a no for me thank you um so yes so that is literally my plan for the rest of the week well till friday to finish the unbroken um Saturday and Sunday. Sunday I am back to D&D and Saturday at the, we, I'm not sure if we are meeting up with family or not. So I probably will pick up the road trip this weekend and then carry on with The Last Widow next week again, split it up over five days so I'm not pushing myself to read it. Although that is one where I think I will either DNF or rate it low due to me not reading the rest of the series. But hey ho. What else bookish have I done this week? I got contacted by a lovely viewer um, who had seen that I enjoyed Saga and has volumes one through six and was like, I'm not going to read them, I don't enjoy them. Um, so would you like them? And I said yes. 
so Carolina, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. If it's not, I do apologise. Thank you so much. I can't wait to receive them. It was a nice surprise. Um, yeah, I sometimes think, even though I see numbers, I sometimes think, oh, people that see my videos, I'll look read what I'm reading, see what I'm reading. It's like someone does. Um, Ada, I know you do, but it's someone else. Um, yes, yeah, so that was a nice surprise. Um, I've also been thinking about what I want to do during my time off. So obviously. I'm away with the family for a week and you would think oh maybe you'll go spend more time with the family I think after that week in the caravan we won't be seeing each other for a while because we will be sick of each other um, and the week before I think I think actually I'm the only one who's off so I have nothing else to do my friends will be working one of them lives in Lincoln so he probably won't come up it's a bit of a journey for him, so he doesn't have to come up. And yes, yeah, so I've been thinking I'm either going to do a themed vlog, which will be sequels again. I know, I know I said I want to read a sequel after each other again, but I have enough sequels that I could do it, but it would be a sequel a day, and I don't know if I want to do that or not. Or. I may do a 24 slash 48 hour readathon and just try and get through some books, some sequels, not all sequels. I'm still in two minds whether or not to do that. Um, but I do, I just want to get some reading done during that week because I should have my TBR finished next week and I finish work next week for the holidays. So I have time. She says... Um, obviously I will try and match up the books I read with the additional challenges for the Olympic Games readathon. Um, but the mandatory ones will be done once I've read The Unbroken and The Road Trip. So I am free to stop if I want to, but I probably won't. Um, what else bookish? Nothing else bookish news, apart from the fact I went to collect another book from Waterstones and the nice man behind the counter went, have you not bought every book here yet? And I was like, no, not yet. I said, but my mum just jokingly said that I must be like funding half of this store and he just laughed at me. He went, I keep thinking you've got all the books. He went, but you surprised me. I'm like, it's my plan. Um, This will make it book 103. Or 104 on my TBR to read. <laughs> With that being such a high number, um, it is actually making me think of the pre-orders I have from August to December and do I actually want them all enough to pre-order them? Um, there are a couple in August where I'm like, I don't think I need you. I've either bought you because you're a pre-order because you're a cover by or you're signed. Um... I think Paula Hawking's new one is out end of August. I got the £20 special signed one from Waterstones and I'm just like, I'm pretty sure the last book of hers, I, it was a low four, nearly, I think it was either a low four or a three. And I'm as much as I want it, do I want to spend the £4 extra on a hardback signed? Why I can just get a normal hardback probably not so it's one of the especially when in August I can't tell October then especially in August I have a week where I won't be reading I will be bringing a book to the caravan but do I think I will get any reading done heck no my sisters were they knew I was gonna ask if I could bring a book and they were like do what you want to do but it's to spend time with family although we all know that I will be needing separate time from them all away from them all for like an hour or something because I can get grouchy at times, but we can all get grouchier. If the niece are watching, I don't think nephew watches me yet. If the niece are watching, don't worry, and it shall not get grouchy at you. I promise. Um. So yeah, tangent over again. Um. So yeah, that's my update for the moment. Um. I will probably next update you when I have finished the Unbroken or. Oh no! Actually, it'll be tomorrow because Goldsboro is being delivered tomorrow. Um. The july book i was gonna say june then the july book which i really am looking forward to reading so i'm hoping i may 
I'm hoping actually it may catch my attention enough that I actually want to read it in August. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so I will update you either when goals were here or when I've read something more of The Unbroken and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, oh my god. Let's see which it is. Hello, it is half past five on Friday and I have finished The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. I actually am dithering between three and a half stars and four stars. Um, it definitely will be a five star because I can't get my head around the magic system. I, yeah can't get my hand can't get my head around it the reason i'm dithering between that half star is is the fact that i didn't feel the relationship build up between our two main characters good enough to say it's not worth four stars i want to say yes but the relationship development between Turin, her family, and the rebels. Um, I quite like, and I liked Luca's development as a character. I mean, the writing is fantastic. The characters are amazing. It literally is just, I can't wrap my head around the magic. And I don't believe that, I don't see any chemistry between Luca and Turin. If it had just been a friendship, I'd have been fine. I'd have sold it. Perfect. I don't see a loving relationship. So I think that being said, it's the four stars. <laughs> um, but that is book number five. Book number five of the month red. So it does match with a challenge for the Olympic Games readathon. And that challenge is... Do, um, to read a book where the main character has a sword. That's a sword and they do use swords so I am happy bunny. Um, that just means one more book and I have completed the five main challenges for the Olympic Games. And the book, the last book for the main challenges is what I'm going to pick up next which is The Road Trip. Um, by Beth O'Leary. Um, all I know about this is two sisters head off to a friend's wedding in Scotland. On the way they see a car that is broken down and it turns out to be one of the sisters ex from two years ago I believe who they've never really got over their relationship. They go to the same wedding with him and his friends so they pick up and you follow the car journey to the wedding where they work out whether or not they can get back together or not. Here's what I'm reading. Um, I quite like Beth's work. Um, I find she really does write quite well the developments of relationships and things. So I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, Ro is doing sprints in about an hour. I think it's about seven it starts. So I'll be able to get a good chunk of that read, potentially even finish because I'm not working tomorrow because today is Friday. Um, but I did end up finishing this in Chloe's last sprint, um, which was great. I was going to say that's my update, but I got Goldsboro yesterday. I can't remember if I showed you or not, um, but this is a Goldsboro pick for July. It's The Gauntlet and Fist the Beneath. Oh, sorry. No. The Gauntlet and the Fist Beneath by Ian Green. I love this cover. The stencils match. It gets better underneath. I love how it all matches. Um, I don't know a jolt about this book. So let's read the blurb together. Fight the storm. The endless rock storm rages over the ruins of the Ferran Empire. Flora would never let the slavers of the Empire rise again. As a warrior of the Storm Guard commandos, she wrought horrors in the rock storm to protect her people. She did her duty and left the bloodshed behind. Flora's peace is shattered when blazing orbs of light cut through the night sky and descend on her village. 
Her daughter is abducted and Flora is forced into a chase across a land of twisted monsters and ancient gods. She must pursue the mysterious orbs whose presence could herald the return of the empire she spent her entire life fighting. Now, Flora must take up the role she had sworn to put aside and become the weapon the storm god trained her to be. To save not only her daughter, but her people. And on the back it says, protect your people, fight for your family and destroy your enemies. So I think this will be a Goldsboro book that I will enjoy. Um, but when will I get around to reading it? I have not the foggiest. Um, but yeah, that, let's see because I... So that's my update for now. Um, I will update you next time when I have got somewhere through the road trip. Hello, it's 5 to 10 on Friday night. Guess who started and finished the road trip? Um, yeah, so Ro from A Wandering Through Worlds, I think that's the channel name, was doing sprints at 7. I started this and the split was 118 pages read, 170 pages read, then finished in the three sprints I was in. I'll link up Rose's channel down below because I absolutely love her. I just find her so down to earth and funny. Um, but yeah, finished. Um, what do I think of the road trip? Four stars. Um, I... <sighs> the plot with Addy and Dylan go looking back at what happened in the past and what's happening now. I enjoyed... Um... But my issue is when they started hinting at why they split and then they introduced some a character and I was like, right, okay, so it's that character. But I knew it wasn't going to go the way I thought it, it was being made out to be. Um, and then for Dil's, Dylan, aka Dil, as he's called half the time, his best friend, I knew that there, again, was something that was there that wasn't being said that people were brushing over. Um, I love the character of Debbie. If someone who is watching this video somehow knows Beth O'Leary and she is planning a book, can you ask her to write a book with Deb? Because I want Deb in it, I want the trucker in it, I want Dill and add it back in it because I think where it's just set off well where it's just left I, I need to pick up with all them characters um yeah it the, the side plot with the wedding I'm sorry what I just I couldn't so that's the reason it kind of got four stars it was I kind of saw what was coming in the side plot and I was like nah um but that does mean I have finished all five books for the main challenges for the Olympic Games Readathon. I do have another book left on my TBR for July. It's the Buzzword um, a thon book and the word is last. So that means tomorrow I will be starting The Last Widow by Karen Slaughter. Book nine in the Will Trent series. Guess how many of the books in the series Michelle's read? None. Um, my sister has read this series before. I think she's got this book as well. And my plan was, if I had time, to go to hers and pick up the eight books and read them. It didn't happen. Um, so, yes, um, it doesn't really say much on the back of this book, but I will still read you the blurb. She might be the first victim, but she won't be the last. Three, a woman is abducted in front of her child. Two, a month later, a second is taken in explosive circumstances. One, but the web is bigger and darker than anyone could imagine. The clock is ticking to uncover the truth. Um, apparently you can read these as standalones. Um, which will be a good thing because if I, if I can't read it as a standalone I may just cry. Um... My plan will be to try and finish this over the weekend um, because I have no plans. For D&D, there is someone self-isolating so we won't play and so we would not meet up on Sunday. And I was going to go to my sister's yesterday, yesterday, tomorrow, 
all arranged very quickly yesterday and then she got a text that someone who she saw four days ago was positive for covid so she has been contacted by the nhs and they've said because it was more than 48 hours when the person tested positive from when she saw my sister she only needs to self-isolate for five days but that takes her to next tuesday so my plan will be how many pages is there in this book oh is it right oh oh i don't like that oh i don't like that um so there's 457 pages so really tomorrow i want to read 230 um and there isn't a chapter at two near two thirty. So if I can get to tap chapter twelve tomorrow, which is two hundred and forty pages in, ugh, um, I will be happy. But it's quite small writing compared to what I've been reading recently. So I'm not sure how I'm going to take with that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. Because it is the ninth book in a series, like I said earlier, if I can get into it and I feel like I am missing out on things, I will just stay in effort if I'm not enjoying it and I feel I'm missing out on information. Um, but I am going to do what I normally do. I'm going to give it up to between 10 and 20% before I decide whether or not I like it. So that's about the 100 page mark. Um, if I do do an effort, I'm not picking up another book for Buzzword. I don't think I've got another book with Lost in the title. Or I may do, um, I may see if I do pick up something else. But that does mean that hopefully from Monday, I will just be reading whatever I want. Which is good because I have my eye on quite a few books on my shelf. I know I have over 100 books and I should want to read all 100 books. Um, but I have realised that there are some which I am putting aside for a video idea um obviously i want to do my sequel week i have an idea to try and do a bradford writers week vlog or month i'm not sure yet um that's only two books and yeah it's yeah it's i just look now on my page at my books on the shelves i'm just like there's some of you who i regret pre-ordering because I don't think I'm going to like you. Um, as well, there's also some Illumicrate books and Goldsboro books where I'm looking at going, I'm not sure I'm going to like you. Um, but I am thinking of doing a themed reading vlog as well of um, for a weekly vlog, reading the lowest rated and highest rated on my TBRs or my shelves. It's not original, but do you know what? It's me. Or I might even do that as an extra, book, extra video on a Thursday or a Friday. Um, I haven't filmed today, like I said I was, I'm going to film tomorrow and upload, it will be my June book haul. So hopefully you will have watched that, if not, I will link it down below. If I have uploaded it, this is me, it's meant to be 28 degrees tomorrow. Do I think I'm going to film it and upload it on the same day? If it's that hot, most likely not. But that's it, so I will either update you next when I have started The Last Widow or I have filmed and uploaded my video. Hello, it is six o'clock Saturday evening. I was about to say Saturday afternoon, but it's Saturday evening. You wouldn't have thought so with the light. It's actually been the hottest day of the year so far, 28 degrees. I was going to do so much filming today. I thought it'd be nice and warm, it'd be nice light. I have been too warm to do anything. Um, I did start reading The Last Widow by Karen Slaughter. Um, I have DNF'd it. I got to chapter three, I think it was, and in the blurb it says about how two women are taken. You've seen them both being taken. I feel nothing. I, I wasn't sat there going, oh my God, they've been taken off. Oh my God, that's happened. The action season, I was like, huh, what? what's going on what's in yeah and i think so because there was no connection that there was no feelings i could feel um and the fact that it is book nine in a series um 
I think that had a massive impact as well so I have DNF'd it. Um, however, I do have another book that I can read for Buzzwordathon and it's actually one of my most anticipated books of the year and that is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This is her second book. The first book was Red, White and Royal Blue. I adored that book. Um, is, did I read it last year? I think I either read it last year or the year before. I loved it so much. Um, so this is her new book. It is a female female romance and it's about a 20 something year old woman who moves to New York and on the train, no, not the train, the subway, that's it, um, she sees this beautiful girl with her like who she instantly attracted to and there's time tra travelling elements because this girl is stuck in the 1970s. Yeah, she's literally displaced in time from the 1970s. Um, so I am very, very, very much looking forward to this one. Um, I remember blasting through Red, White and Royal Blue. I'm hoping I will be able to connect it to a additional challenge for the Olympic Games readathon, but let's see. So I will update you when I have read some of these. Um, now it is getting cooler, I am thinking of filming my book haul. Um, but again, let's see how I feel in about 20 minutes time. If I do film today, it won't be uploaded today. It will be uploaded next week. Um, I, yeah, I've left it too late to try and edit and upload at the same time, it, same day. It's just not happening. Um, and I don't want to upload tomorrow and then upload my vlog on Monday. I'd rather just do the same, do try and stick to my Thursday or Friday uploads. Which were never going to be every week. I said that from the start. I don't upload every Thursday, Friday, every week. It's just additional videos. Um. So, yes. Yeah, so, I will update you when I have got somewhere through one last stop. Hello, it's Sunday evening. If you hear cars, it's because I have the window open and I'm not closing that window. It is 20 degrees and it's quarter to 10 at night and... This girl needs what little air will come through that window to, <laughs> to breathe tonight. Um, so I thought I'd give you an update on one last stop. Um, there is 417 pages in this book and I have read 228. So I think I can say I'm over halfway. Um, I'm really liking it. Um, I'm liking the... Well, I, I am really liking it, but it's not a five star. So I'm enjoying August and Jane's relationship. There's just been a it's not spicy it's not it's not spicy spicy, but there's been a spicy scene. Um and it didn't get me hot and fussed over sat in the kitchen going. The entire four pages I want to say. Um, I was doing lunch, I, well, I was, sorry I was getting my lunch ready for tomorrow and my mum was in the other room and I was like do not come in, do not come in, do not come in. Um, so I just got past that part so I'm enjoying that and I'm enjoying August and Jane trying to figure out what happened to Jane and how she got to where she is. I'm liking that. I'm liking August's friends that she's made in, and work and how they're being incorporated into this world with Jane. There's mention of a side story with her mum and her mum looking for a certain person who they think may be alive. I don't understand why that's there at the moment because it's not being developed. It's literally the odd line that connects it every couple of chapters and I'm just like, is this coming round again? Are we going to get this more incorporated into the storyline? Or is this just a random side story? So at the moment it's the four stars. Um, there's, yeah. So at the moment four stars. Um, I can't see how this is going to end. At all. Um, but I am enjoying it at the moment. So let's see if that continues. Um... I'm not pushing to finish it tomorrow. I'm hoping to finish it by Tuesday, end of Tuesday, and I will be happy, 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 happy. I am back in the office tomorrow and Tuesday for the two days next week. 
and that is the main reason why I'm not going to finish it tomorrow. I'm not going to read during my lunch. Um, because I am in the office, I'm wrapping this up tonight. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this week's vlog here. Um, a good week. I finished my main challenges for the Olympic Games readathon. I DNF'd a book, but picked up another book straight away for it. And once I finished this book on Tuesday, that is my July TBR done. Which is good. Um, I already have my eye on a couple of books that I definitely want to read as soon as possible. So that is fun. I also realised today on my time hop on Facebook, it's a year today that, last year sorry, that I uploaded my first video. Which is weird to think. I thought it was later on in the month. Um, I'm going to do the birthday book tag and I was like, I can do it during my week off because it'll be that week when I'm, and it's like, no, it was it's this, it's this week. Um, so yes, that is the hope to get that up during the week that I have off before a good holiday. Um, I also didn't upload my um, book haul from June, but that is because I was bloody boiling this weekend and I couldn't be bothered filming. Um, so I'm going to combine June and July together, I think, and just get them filmed on my week off before I go on holiday and I'm going to then schedule them to go up. I'm also going to film my wrap up, or well, my hope is to film my wrap up that week as well, so it will be a bit early, but I for it to go up while I'm away. I'm going to schedule and see what happens. If it works, great. Um, I'm also going to film that tag video that Ada sent me months ago and have that scheduled to come up sometime during August as well. And I'm just gonna see how that goes. And if it goes really well with me filming and scheduling the videos, I might just do that one Saturday, not meet up with anyone, just film in my room for the full day and then schedule those videos. But let's see. Um, so I'm going to stop waffling. It was a good week. I, I feel like he hasn't really read much or done much, but that's not different from any other week. Um, but yeah, no, I I feel like I've not read much than I'd like to know about. It's because you don't have a TBR, Michelle, that you're worried about finishing. Which isn't good, because after August, I get to September, October, November. And as we all know from last year, that's the month that, that my nieces and nephew were born in, and I set my TBR on how old they are turning. And they pick half my TBR. And if I have the ages right, September I will have a TBR of 11, October I will have a TBR of 14, and November I will have a TBR of 9. Now in the past I haven't, well in the past, <laughs> last year I don't think I incorporated my well, last year I didn't have any reading challenge to incorporate into their numbers. I didn't do that with a few reading challenges I've had this year. I'm doing that this this time. Whatever I have for the Buzzwordathon and Read Your Bookshelf Challenge, they are getting incorporated into the numbers. Uh, in November, obviously, the start of Clay Yorship 2.0, where there'll be 18 challenges. So... The way I do it when it's my niece and nephew's birthday is I ask them to pick half my TBR from numbers on my shelf. So I say, listen, so I've got 88 books. I go, can you pick me a book between, can you pick me, say for September, for example, six books between the numbers 1 to 88. My niece will then text me numbers and whatever books they are, as long as they're not sequels, I'll pick up and read. And then I make up the other numbers. Um... September I'm hoping will be doable. October will be a struggle I think because that is my busiest month of work. Um, September's quite busy as well but the way it's being planned out at the moment it hopefully won't be as stressful which will be a plus. But October will be busy and stressful. Um, and then November's normally pretty busy too. But I can do nine. And I'll be in the office full time again. I actually, once I come back off my annual leave this summer, I'm back in the office full time. Which 
is going to be strange after a year and a half working at home full time. But let's see. Um, so I'm going to stop waffling. A very chilled vlog, I'll say, this week. I'm not making promises, but there may be a video up this Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how busy I get with work um, and how tired I am with the heat because it's still reaching heights of 28 this week. Yay. Um, but if not, there'll be next week's vlog. Um, so until whichever video that is, bye.